the TCAS divides the space surrounding the aircraft into four zones in order to evaluate and categorize potential collision threats. These four zones are known as Resolutional Advisories, RA, Traffic Advisory, TA, Proximity Intruders, and then other intruders outside the envelope. Let's start inside. The Resolution Advisory is for the area closest to the aircraft. Intruders within this area right here is a real collision threat to us. The TAU, the time until the closest point, is about 25 seconds when the RA resolution advisory is triggered in the aircraft. It will display the intruder's position on the ND with a red square together with the indication of their respective altitude. In this case, the aircraft is 600 feet below us and climbing, indicated by the red arrow. It will trigger an oral alert together with visual orders on the PFD for the flight crew to perform a maneuver to prevent a collision. This is a memory item procedure checklist, which means it needs to be done without any delay. The area around the RA is called the traffic advisory area and any intruders within this zone will be categorized as traffic advisories. They pose a potential collision threat and the TAU is now about 40 seconds. Intruders are still shown on the ND but they are now in amber indicated by an amber circle together with their altitude and rate of change if climbing or descending by more than 500 feet per minute. Traffic advisories come on the ND display as well as trigger an oral message to us, traffic, traffic. But there are no visual commands on the PFD for the crew to fly. Traffic advisories is to give crew awareness of a potential collision threat not to take actions in the area surrounding the aircraft that is up to six nautical miles laterally and 1200 feet above and below our aircraft any intruder will be categorized as a proximate intruder it does not yet pose a collision threat it is however shown to us on the ND display using a white spade symbol filled in together with the altitude and rate of change indication below. There is no oral or visual alert to the crew. This is what most intruders on your ND display is going to look like. These are simply intruders within the vicinity of the aircraft. The aircraft was capable of looking 30 to 80 nautical miles ahead. 30 nautical miles to the sides and almost 10,000 feet above and below. But not all these are threats, of course. Intruders that are categorized as others do not possess any collision threat will be shown as a spade symbol here, but not filled in, together with the indication for altitude and vertical speed. And intruders will be shown on the ND, but they are no concern to us at all. Let's take a closer look at an ND display right here for the different kind of symbology you can see for traffic. The indications for traffic here will be irrespective of whether or not you have weather radar or terrain selected on the ND and will be available in all modes except plan mode. On my ND display here, I have different symbols for traffic. Let's start with the others. Up to 30 nautical miles away from the aircraft, they are shown as spade symbols right here that are not filled in. No collision threat at all. They are each 4,300 feet below me, indicated with the minus 43 below the symbol. And they are both climbing at minimum 500 feet per minute, shown by the up arrow. The error indication will show next to a traffic symbol if their vertical speed exceeds 500 feet per minute. If intruders 
do not have altitude reporting capabilities within their transponders, then the TCAS system will, first of all, assume that that aircraft is at co-altitude with us, giving us the worst case scenario. These two symbols that I have down here, shown as the filled in white spade and the amber circle, but without any altitude information below, shows such intruders. They will show us both proximate TA and RA, even if they are thousands of feet above or below us and don't actually possess any collision threat, the TCAS system will still treat it as if they were on the same altitude as we are. In certain conditions, advisories, TAs and RAs are in fact inhibited. For example, all intruders flying below 380 feet AGL when your own aircraft is flying below 1,700 feet AGL is inhibited. Any RA below 1,100 feet when we are climbing or 900 feet when we are descending will be automatically converted into TAs, hence not giving the crew the resolution advisory to do commands and follow vertical commands for the aircraft. The vertical command descend given if an RA triggers is inhibited below 1,100 feet AGL. As is the increased descent vertical command if the RA is below 1,550 feet AGL. All TA all messages below 600 feet AGL in climbing and 400 feet AGL in descending are also inhibited.